It has uh, become hugely popular, but there is also a risk today for today's Ayurveda in that if you go along the beach, you see every other house is an Ayurvedic resort. Now this I think is a very dangerous proclivity because without proper training, without being aware of uh, what you are doing, you claim to be an Ayurvedic healing center. They are not licensed, they are not qualified, okay you do a, an Ayurvedic massage, it is a wellness therapy that is fine. But beyond that if you start treating you could lead to a lot of problems. The body and the mind. The body and the mind both have to be there for yoga and also they will tell you, a good yoga teacher will tell you that you must go to somebody who is qualified. If you have a problem you should say that to the yoga master, to the yoga teacher and then they will decide what is right for you because otherwise you can harm yourself, you can hurt yourself. I think it is a good thing just as we imbibed a lot of things from western culture. So, it is a give and take. If the world had no boundaries, if we respected or at least we were willing to look at another viewpoint, it would be a much happier place. Today you see everybody the ego is very big, my way is the only way. I do not think so, I think there are many ways, maybe it all leads to the same point. But the ways are many, the methods are many, the methodologies are many. I certainly would, I definitely would. Many people who come for Ayurveda, they are young and healthy. Yeah. They do not need uh, treatment, they only need a wellness therapy. Then what is practical for the European climate? Let us say for instance the Ayurvedic oils with which my grandmother and mother they used to have regular oil baths twice a week, put coconut oil in the, in the hair and um, a thick red oil on the body and they would massage it themselves after 20 minutes, wash it off. Now, that kind of oil may not be practical, let us say in a European winter because it would all solidify, then the temperature is important, you should not put oil on yourself and get cold. So, all these things you have to calibrate according to the conditions there, the needs of the people, uh, the habits of the people. You have to really see what is practical, let us say. And what agrees with you, like I said before, may not agree with me. There is always a danger in self-medication and prescription. I will say, now look, this was very good for me. So, you try it, you should never do that. You should always go to a knowledgeable, registered practitioner before you start medicating yourself. All right, you rub a little oil on your knee, it, it may not matter. But if you go for a serious treatment, it must always be under proper guidance. Same with yoga. Even today, yes, for some things, not for all. Mm -hmm. Now, let us say you are running a very high fever and you want to go somewhere. You do not have the time, the patience to go for uh, any treatment other than to swallow two paracetamols and run. So, so. 
And the one yoga which I did practice was the art of living. I did the Sudarshana Kriya, only the preliminary. I had a bad back. I was going around with an orthopedic belt many years ago, maybe eight, ten years ago. And we had a friend who was very much into the art of living and he said, why don't you do the Sudarshana Kriya? So I said, yes, we saw each other once in six months for the temple festival. So next restaurant he would ask, have you started doing the, the Kriya? No, not yet. So the third time we saw him, which is actually uh, 12 months, he said, I am organizing a camp only for ladies and I want you to come. I will send my car and you must come for the camp. And I said, I have my car, I will come. He said, no. If I send my car, you will certainly come. If you are coming under your own steam, you may say, well, today, I mean, I will go half an hour late. So this was only for five days. And they said, you should do it for 41 days. I did it religiously for 41 days at the prescribed time in the prescribed way. I have not worn an orthopedic belt since. I dance, I make long flights, I sit in the car over bumpy roads. I have not used a belt and I have not continued doing it. I did it only for 41 days.